Hey, I'm Susan Hilperty. I'm a costume and set designer for the theater, for opera, for film, and the circus. I'm the chairman of the Department of Design for Stage and Film at NYU Tisch, and I'm excited to be here where some of our work is being displayed at Skirball. Being a costume designer is in many ways connecting to a time period that could be in the past, the present, or even the future. What we have to do is we create worlds. So we're looking at identifying what the world might be, a culture, which could be a place, it could be from China to New Orleans to the planet Mars. Um, sometimes we go back to biblical times or we go into a place that no man has gone before. So what we are putting together isn't something that is just living by itself like a fashion design, but it is really creating a character who lives in a specific world. So the characters, for instance, could be like the circus, that they have a very specific character that they have developed and will appear in many different ways, like our clowns or um, many of the performers. Or it could be an actor who is used to transforming. If you think of a, a Meryl Streep and how she transforms completely physically and um, emotionally from character to character. So the costume designer is responsible for everything that is connected to the character. So I've transformed bodies, I've made people old, I've made them into animals, I've made them into, uh, made them pregnant. I can do many, many things. So I, I'm dealing with them from the top, their hats, down to their fingertips, down to their toes. So when you look at a design, the custom designer has been involved in every aspect of the decision of the character of the actor, which is even how they move. So when you think about the circus, you think oftentimes about what somebody is doing in their movement. So whether or not they're spinning or they're racing or they're hanging from a silk, everything about the design has to be connected to how they're moving. So we have to be thinking of it all. And even to the point that, when once again, when you think about the circus, that not only are we designing a character, but a circus costume is now gonna go out on a train, out on the road for two years, doing sometimes up to 10 to 15 performances a week. So in addition to all the other complications, We've got to be experts in fabrics, fabrications, how things are put together. I've done um, many shows that have um, that are short-lived. So there might be a show that I do in 1990 that was exactly at that moment. But also, I've been lucky enough to do shows like Wicked that's been running for 12 years. So what I'm always amazed by is that we even though the times have changed, even though 12 years have passed since Wicked was created, that it's connected to the zeitgeist, it's connected to the world in such a specific way that the costumes don't feel like they're from another time. They don't feel dated. The performances shift slightly, the clothes shift slightly. So this capturing of a moment in time is connected to the world outside, the world on the stage or whatever performance venue that we're doing. Um, so I hope you enjoy all of the clothes when you come and see them in the windows here at Skirball.